Hello and welcome to Wish Merchant Summit 2022. My name is Zhou Yan and I'm the interim CEO of Wish. It's been a crazy year, not only for Wish, but for the broader e-commerce industry. Who knew that so much could change within the course of a year, from the innovations that are set to redefine the way we shop to new challenger brands that we see entering the market. It's such an exciting time to be in e-commerce. There's so much opportunity. We have our own exciting updates to share with you today. But before we start, I wanted to take a moment to remind ourselves what brings merchants to wish. We have been conducting regular merchant NPS, plus engagement surveys, interviews, and roundtable sessions to understand from your perspective what works and which parts of the Wish experience will benefit from some improvement. When we speak with our merchants, we hear that they love our global footprint and the fact that they can sell into more than 60 countries from a single dashboard. We also receive positive feedback that the Wish platform enables merchants to operate and sell efficiently. Feedback from merchants always reflects that our merchants also value our logistics support, which some merchants have described as trustworthy and reliable, particularly when tracking orders and overseeing customer support. They enjoy the convenience of tapping to Wish's network of qualified logistic partners, allowing them to ship to a selection of markets they would otherwise have not been able to. Over the past year, we've been going through a major period of transformation. While we've been doing lots of things right, we know there are areas where we need to improve. We've been working tirelessly to make changes at the front end for our users, along with changes at the back end for you, our merchants. We are thrilled to share some of the progress we are making as we continue on our journey to create a global platform that's incredibly interesting and compelling to consumers with sparkings made fun and discovery made easy. Some of the key 2022 initiatives we have already realized include a fresh-looking app design, country rationalization, an invitation-only marketplace, and the launch of Wish standards. Many of these changes are about simplifying the path to purchase to the benefit of both our users and you, our merchants. Our foundations for growth are built around three fundamental pillars improving the customer experience, deepening our merchant relationships, and achieving operational excellence. It's this second pillar, deepening our merchant relationships, that I want to talk to you about today. We recognize that our merchants are the backbone of what we do here at Wish. The products we sell, the level of service we provide, and the entire shopping experience. We know that for Wish, to be truly successful, we need to set our merchants up for success. Yes, the user experience is important, but we need to get the merchant experience right too. Your success is our success. We have brought in fresh leadership to help deliver on our ambitious game plan, some of whom you will hear from later today. Vivian, our Chief Financial Officer and Chief Operating Officer. Malicio, our new Chief Merchant Officer. Jerry, our Chief Technology Officer. Tarone, our Chief Product Officer and Chief Customer Officer. And of course, myself. We each bring with us a rich background in tech, e-commerce, payments, or social media. And this is just a small snapshot of some of the world-class team members that we have working at Wish. Each one of them is laser-focused around our three pillar objectives and bringing our business back onto a path of growth. But we need your help to do this. The transformation underway at Wish is all about readying ourselves for the next evolution of e-commerce, making sure we are adapting to the emerging trends while remaining aware of changing consumer needs. As you are of no doubt aware, the macroeconomic uncertainty, particularly in North America and Europe, is impacting consumer buying behaviors not just at Wish, but across the entire retail and e-commerce landscape. Consumers almost everywhere are being significantly impacted by the dramatic rise in energy costs made worse by high interest rate and the weakened currencies. E-commerce spend is set to grow slower than ever in 2022 as retail returns to pre-pandemic trends. But as you can see from this chart, e-commerce growth rate from the next four years will continue to be moderately positive. While we consider the shopping experience we are providing to our customers, we also need to look through the eyes of our customers in this challenging economic landscape. Now, more than ever, we need to demonstrate how we can consistently deliver great value to our customers. 
Now is the time for us to step up and show our customers that we care and that we are putting their needs first. Now, before we kick this off, I want to make clear our commitment to you, our valued merchants. We are committed to investing in our relationship with you for the longer term. We want to learn from you so we can become better and equip you with the tools you need to be successful. We want to partner with you on our journey of transformation and rebuild the wish that is smarter, faster, and stronger. Thank you for everything you do to make Wish a success. Wish could not exist without our global merchant community, and we truly value you and the work that you do. Today, we are doing something quite special. We are going to pull back the curtain and take you on a journey through the world of Wish. At each stage of customer journey, from awareness and consideration through to purchase, retention, and advocacy, you'll learn and gain insight into how we are improving our platform and experience for customers and merchants alike. Let's get started. Hello, I'm Tarun Jain, Chief Product Officer and Chief Customer Officer at Wish. As Joe mentioned, today you are going to hear from myself and several colleagues on our executive team. We each have different areas of expertise and will speak to what we know best later to our wish journey. First, I'll take you through the customer journey. And after that, you will hear from my colleagues about what we are doing to improve the journey for our merchant community. Before we start, a quick note on the metrics. Some of the metrics used in this presentation are calculated using our own internal tools, which are not independently verified by third parties. They are based on what we believe to be reasonable estimates, right? So let's crack on. Let's start at the top of the customer journey. I want to talk to you about what we are doing to increase the flow of traffic coming into the platform. First off, we are making some big changes to the way we market Wish to our customers through the messages and content we are sharing with them and through the channels we are using to reach them. In the past year, we have done a lot of work to get to know our customers better, which is allowing us to be much more targeted with the way we connect with them. Let me share some of the exciting changes we are making. First off, the brand refresh. In July of this year, we announced the rollout of a new brand that better captures where we are today and where we want to be in the future. The new look and feel of the logo is designed to inspire not just a fun and exciting shopping experience, but also to engender trust and confidence in the Wish platform itself. This incorporates a new logo, font, iconography, imagery, and color palette, a renewed mission, bargains made fun, and discovery made easy. The rebrand has served as a launch pad to kickstart a new marketing strategy that is more closely aligned with our core business objectives. In the past, we have always invested more heavily in performance marketing over brand marketing. While that works for the short term, it's not really a sustainable long-term strategy. It needs to be balanced with a robust brand marketing strategy to win the hearts and minds of the consumers. On the brand marketing side this year, we secured a sponsorship deal with a football club in the EPL. We launched a multi-market World of Wish ad campaign. We broadened our influencer marketing program and we hosted an immersive brand experience event in Europe. What was different about these campaigns was the channels we chose to reach our audiences through, as well as TV, we reach them through TikTok, Snapchat, streaming channels, radios, podcasts, you name it. The diversity of these channels reflect the diversity of our user base. Now, when we look at performance marketing, our focus has been on improving the efficiency of our customer acquisition engine. And there are a few ways we are doing this. We are focusing on bringing the right kind of users, the kind we know will have repeat visits and will grow their order value. We are diversifying the type of content and the type of channels. Next year is all about scaling those efforts across SEO, email, affiliate marketing, and our performance ads. Now let's talk about where our customers live and where most of our orders are coming from. Around 85% of our buyers are concentrated in two geographic regions, North America and Europe. These two regions alone account for 85% of our GMV. 56% of our customers are on Android. 
and 32% of our customers are on iOS. We know that one of the main reasons our customers come to us is for our great prices. So it is not a surprise that 59% of our buyers have carts under $20. We are focusing on increasing that basket size to encourage customers to make more of their shopping trip and mitigate the high shipping fee. The categories that are most popular on Wish are home and garden, jewelry accessories, women fashion, beauty and health, and sports. Together, these five categories account for 60% of all our purchases. Interestingly, 61% of Wish's most loyal customers have a lower household income versus 46% for general US population. So who are our customers and what motivates them on their shopping journey? This is something we have researched at length and I'd like to share the outputs of that work with you today. There are three thinking styles represented by our three personas that help us understand why our customers do what they do and how they make their purchasing decisions. They are first promotion seekers. They are true to their name. They are here for the deals. They are after something specific they need and require a good price to justify the spend. They are pragmatic shoppers, favoring the home accessories and clothing categories. Deals truly motivate these shoppers. The second ones are the treasure hunters. They spend the time to unearth the gems that are on Wish. Browsing is fun for them, and they love the thrill of the hunt. They look to us for low-cost fashion accessories that allow them to be unique. And then we have the trend-driven shoppers. They are impulse buyers. They are after the new, the never seen before. They value having these trends surface to inspire them. And this is just a snapshot of some of our core users. We have a rich tapestry of customers enjoying Wish and want to work more closely with you to target them more directly. So with all these users primed and ready to come and experience Wish for the first time, how do we make that first impression count? How do we reduce the friction from their first experience so they can browse freely and truly be immersed in the world of Wish? I'll tell you how. Until this year, new and intrigued users couldn't explore Wish without first downloading the app, filling in their details, and then setting up their account through the website. Our data shows that in the past, we lost approximately 20% of potential buyers this way. As of November this year, all new users wishing to browse Wish can do so without the need of setting up an account. On the left of this slide, you can see our old experience, which required customers to create an account. On the right is the new experience. Customers can close the request to create an account and easily start browsing on Wish. They can add items to their cart, they can check out all without setting up an account. This development is huge, particularly as we start to market Wish to new users through new channels. The removal of the sign up wall also allows search engines to crawl our platform in more optimal ways, which also improves our SEO. Once users arrive on the Wish homepage, we are sharing a fresh and exciting new look. Our goals are threefold. We want to showcase the very best Wish has to offer, products that we stand behind and that will build customer trust. We want to enhance the variety and breadth of our product offering, allowing Wish customers to explore everything we have to offer. And finally, we hope to create an inspirational and fun experience, building on the heritage of Wish as a place to find amazing things. Our rebranded visuals are on full display with new designs, colors, and fonts to engage customers like never before. Customers can search for specific products. They can click on new options like updated product categories, products with rapid shipping via Wish Express, their wish lists, recently viewed products, authentic brands, and a tab with Wish's most current discounts and deals. And so, from the new homepage experience, Consumers are guided towards a host of new features that are designed around improving the user experience. They include the new shoppable videos feature, Wish Clips, which is performing really well. We are already seeing increased engagement amongst our users. We also introduced audio to the feature in August this year to further add to the experience. We also have the revamped fashion experience, which balances the functional, such as filters and size guides, with the inspirational, such as style guides and hot trends. New merchandising modules, which give merchants a much greater degree of flexibility to showcase their product range. 
and then the category tabs and sorting features to further streamline user navigation around the app. Later in today's presentation, my colleague Sarah will elaborate on how you, as a merchant, can actively participate in the consideration stage of the customer journey on Wish. Now once through the consideration phase, where the customer has browsed Wish, considered their options, and added some items to their cart, what comes next? What actions are we taking to encourage conversions? Join us as we talk through some of the major improvements we have made to the purchase process. Once a user has discovered Wish, we want to do everything we can to motivate them to make a purchase. But how do we do that? We are always looking for ways to inspire customers to find and purchase the next product they are going to love. In 2022, we have improved our strategies for helping facilitate purchase behavior. Today, we'll go over a few ways we are helping make it easy for customers to buy on Wish. Customer incentive program, the push notification, the deals feature, and the payment services. Wish has had a customer incentive program in place for quite some time. But in the past 12 months, we have been looking at ways to optimize our customer incentive program to make sure we are showing customers the right incentives at the right time. Much of this revolves around understanding customer motivation. So when we talk about customer incentives, we are talking about three things. Incentives in the shape of loyalty and rewards, deals, and gamification. Blitzbuy can be easily accessed from the homepage menu, and it also prompts consumers as they scroll through the feed. Our site-wide sales, which also feature promo codes or giveaways, we also offer incentives once an item has been added to cart or when a user has been idle for some time. Having multiple touch points along the journey means our customers feel appreciated and feel like they are always getting a good deal. Now, speaking of deals, very soon you'll start hearing more about our new deals feature, which is known as the Merchant Promotions Platform within the Merchant Dashboard. When we are designing our deals feature, we wanted to make sure that it solved a core need for our customers, which as we talked about earlier, is to make their money go further. We also wanted to make sure that it was easy to discover, it was easy to understand, to apply, and it offered sizable discounts and meaningful savings. We are really excited about the new deals feature, which is launching across all devices very soon. As the customer is getting ready to make a purchase, we want to make that final purchase process as easy, as seamless, and as stress-free as possible. This year, we have taken significant strides to increase the ease and flexibility with which customers can purchase products on Wish. We brought a board of new payment partners, such as Afterpay and Pix in Brazil. We also expanded our relationship with our existing partners, such as Klarna, in 2023, we'll continue to build on that momentum by expanding payment method coverage to allow customers around the world maximum access to the variety of payment options. By growing our Buy Now Pay Later program globally and giving customers more options to choose between different payment providers. And then lastly, improving our payment wallet experience to increase GMV and buyers. Retention is a key component of the customer journey. While it's very easy to focus all your efforts around converting the first sale, the real job starts after the first order has been placed. Truth is, retaining current customers is much more cost effective than converting new ones. If we can keep our customers coming back, we are in a much better position to generate more consistent and more valuable sales over time. The foundation of our retention efforts are built around delivering a positive customer experience every time. We'll talk a little later about some of the initiatives we have in place to ensure we are getting as described products into our customers' hands, ensuring authenticity of brand. Another key piece of the puzzle is identifying our loyal customers and making sure they are rewarded for their loyalty. Now, the first step to identify our loyal users is already underway. We know some of their key traits. For example, they buy three times per month. They represent around 6% of our global customer base. They favor jewelry, homeware, and beauty products. They are a little older in their middle age, and they buy at value commerce stores. They tend to be slightly less tech savvy. Our next step, which is a big focus for us in 2023, is to carve out a plan to reward our loyal users, which we hope will in turn result in more frequent 
and higher value sales for our merchants. The after sales experience also has an impact on retention metrics. When it comes to our customer support efforts, we regularly receive customer feedback and we make updates and improvements that can positively affect how customers think about Wish. A great example is the updates we send customers through the shipping process. When an order is placed, an explanation of what happens next and the path their package will take to get to them. Updates when an order arrives at a Wish facility or departs on the next stage of its journey or even when it is delayed and notifications when a package has arrived at customer's address. These changes have helped lead to increased customer satisfaction as measured through NPS scores. On the customer support side, we are continuing to observe a steady decline in the percentage of orders that generate a customer support ticket. In addition, our time to resolution is also going down, which means we are handling customer support requests much more efficiently than before. As a result, our CSAT score, the metric we use to measure our customer support effectiveness, is on the rise. The last portion of the customer journey focuses on advocacy. Advocacy comes after a great customer experience. When you have delivered an impactful experience that turns a customer into an advocate, you know you are doing something right. We are innovating to ensure that customers are excited to share how much they love our platform with their family, their friends, and their wider network. As our customers start coming back for more and increase their basket size, they may also start telling their friends and family about Wish by word of mouth. They may also start reviewing products or reviewing their experiences within the Wish app or on other forums, subscribing to our newsletters, signing up to our blog or following us on social media, and they may also be open for sharing helpful resources and articles. Whichever way they choose to engage, it's important to recognize that what they say about us is far more powerful than what we say about ourselves. So in light of that, we will begin ramping up our social media influencer marketing program in the new year. The example here is of an influencer who shares makeup and beauty tips with her followers on TikTok. As we grow our influencer program, we'll partner with many more influencers like Grace to promote and share Wish products. Thank you so much for joining me on the customer journey through the world of Wish. I hope you are as excited as we are about the changes we are making to improve the customer experience. Thank you. Hello, my name is Vivian Liu. I'm Wish's Chief Financial Officer and the Chief Operating Officer. Thank you for joining us today during your busy holiday season. We have merchants tuning in from all over the world for this summit, and I couldn't be more excited to share some of the changes we have made this year and all the new features to look forward to. I'd like to start with a few key takeaways. As the global economy continues to experience uncertainty due to geopolitical risks, high inflation, and interest rate hikes, which will remain intent on improving our operational efficiency with a particular focus on enhancing our core marketplace capabilities. Building upon our much strengthened Wish Foundation, we're actively working to improve the experiences of all our users, customers, and merchants alike. Finally, during these challenging economic times, we see green shoes in a number of operational metrics, which I will elaborate on later. Enhancing our marketplace means providing improved experiences across the board for our users. At a high level, we are creating better browsing and discovery experiences for our customers, improving the quality and the compliance of our product listings, working to improve product category management, and developing a robust and a comprehensive merchandising campaign. You will hear much more about these initiatives from my colleagues later in today's presentation. This year, we introduced a number of initiatives that help us set new standards for both buyers and merchants. On the merchant side, we became an invite-only platform, introduced the Wish Standards Program, and doubled down on our policy enforcement efforts. We are committed to continuing our efforts to create the type of marketplace that both merchants and users are proud to be part of. In addition to creating a cleaner platform for our users, 
we will continue to invest in some of our top product categories, which is focused on becoming an online destination for customers who are searching to make purchases in categories related to home and life. Our five major categories are fashion, beauty and health, home, hobbies, and electronics. As you have already heard and will continue to learn more about, we intended to service our products through strategic merchandising campaigns. We will also work towards more personalized category browsing and navigation experiences so that we can better guide our customers in their shopping journey. Having a diverse selection of products within those top five categories will be integral to providing our customers a fun and exciting shopping experience that we cannot do without our merchants. As part of our efforts to help merchants better expose and promote their products, I'd like to touch on the many promotional and advertising opportunities we have developed in 2022 for our merchants. I'm genuinely excited that we have been able to build out this new suite of tools for our merchants. I'd like to encourage you to take advantage of promotions and product exposure opportunities through the Merchant Promotions platform and Product Boost. With our new entry points and diverse opportunities for discounts and promotions, your products can become even more attractive to our customers. We have kicked those tools into high gear over the 2022 holiday season, and we can't wait to share some of the positive results with you. On this slide, you will see a high-level chart that shows some of the transaction growth we are already seeing. Later, Sarah Luo and Judy Zhu will share much more detail about how you can leverage these features to your advantage. One theme that you will hear running through every presentation today, we're diligently working to improve experiences for both users and merchants. Three improvements that I feel extremely positive about are the fashion experience, which brings fashion to the forefront of Wish, systems that are providing faster delivery times for Wish products, and finally, our new commission structure. Let me share a little bit more about the three initiatives. First, more about our fashion experience. If you haven't heard about the Wish fashion experience, now is the time to learn more, especially if you sell apparel. We see an excellent opportunity to become an e-commerce destination for clothing, shoes, and accessories. Women's fashion in particular allows us to leverage our merchants' existing supply chain while also attracting a new set of fashion merchants with unique value-driven product ranges. Our revamped women's fashion experience is now available to all US Android users and it will be gradually rolled out to iOS users soon. The revamped fashion experience will be expanded into the jewelry and accessory categories early next year. Customers can now filter and sort based on how merchants upload their products. So far, with 2,700 merchants participating in the experience and 160,000 featured items, we are seeing positive results. Our GMV and the buyers are also up. One of our most important areas of focus is logistics. My colleagues will go into further details in later presentation, but I wanted to share some of the fantastic improvements we have already made and how we will continue building upon those next year. In 2022, we invested in two primary areas of focus. Firstly, we have worked diligently to decrease time to door for customers. We have brought our time-to-door average down by five days, a dramatic improvement. Secondly, we have been improving on-time delivery rate for customers. I'm incredibly proud to share that our on-time delivery rate is up to 92%. One of our big focuses for next year will be on forward deployment through our unit inventory and global logistics programs. You will hear more about that and the other upcoming initiatives from my colleague, Michael, later in today's presentation. In alignment with building relationships with you, our merchant community, 
I'd like to take a moment to speak to our new commission structure that was implemented earlier this year. Our new progressive commission structure is more closely aligned with other major e-commerce marketplaces and has been designed to help merchants of all kinds succeed on Wish. Merchants selling products at a higher price point and in Wish's focus categories are better empowered to stay competitive by receiving lower commission rates. However, the price point of an item represents only one factor of our progressive commission structure. Other factors include order destination, product category, and a merchant's wish standards tier. The goal of the new structure is to incentivize high quality merchants and product listings on the wish platform. During the last quarter, our total revenues were down, mostly driven by lower ad spend and our new pricing strategy, which became fully effective in Q3. However, I'm glad to note that we are seeing green shoots. For example, our order volume grew in Q3, the first sequential quarterly growth since Q1 2021. We are optimistic that over time, more operational metrics will show similar improvements. If you are data focused, this is a part of the presentation for you. Some of our additional turnaround green shoes include, our monthly active users have seen their first sequential quarterly growth since Q1 2021. Our on-time delivery rate is at 92% in Q3 2022 versus 80% one year ago. Our average time to door has seen a five-day improvement in top markets year to Q3 2022. Our refund rates have declined 34% year to Q3 2022. Finally, merchant and customer NPS satisfaction rates have seen steady improvement year over year. And these are just some of the positive trends we are seeing following the implementation of the turnaround strategies earlier this year. We're moving in the right direction, and we are excited to bring our merchant community along on this journey. Total revenues in Q3 were $125 million, a decline of 66% year over year. The decline was across core marketplace, product boost, and logistics. The revenue performance was attributable to lower marketing spend, as mentioned above, and the new pricing practice implemented through Q1 and Q2 this year. We expected those pricing changes to drive better customer engagement and the pricing transparency with our merchants. But for the near term, they create downward pressure on both revenues and the profits. We believe that the high inflation rates and the market uncertainty in most of our buyer markets, particularly the European markets, also contributed to the revenue decline year over year. Our adjusted EBITDA in Q3 was a loss of $95 million, which was favorable compared to our previous guidance of a loss of $110 million to $130 million. Our balance sheet remains healthy with a balance of $837 million of cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities, and no short-term or long-term debt. Our Q3 free cash flow was negative $100 million, a significant improvement from a negative free cash flow of $344 million last year. Finally, in 2023, we intend to continue focusing on our strategic turnaround priorities. On the operations side, we will continue to improve the Wish platform with our focused customer segments in mind, build category management and merchandising strengths to best showcase our core product categories, invest in strategic markets, both emerging and new, to drive sustainable growth and more diverse supplies and increase the strengths of our platform's core capabilities, including tools and features for merchants. On the financial side, we will focus on unit economics to help ensure a continued solid financial foundation for Wish. Continue to optimize cash flows so that our marketplace can drive sustainable growth for our merchants and provide a fun, 
discovery-based shopping experiences for buyers. Thank you again for taking the time to attend the 2022 Merchant Summit. Our merchants are not only our partners in this journey, but also our customers. Your success is our success, and we are dedicated to ensuring that our merchants not only have the best experiences selling on Wish, but also that our merchants succeed and grow with us. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Mauricio Monico, Chief Merchant Officer at Wish. Thank you for joining us today. I'm thrilled to be sharing a number of insights with you today. I'm going to focus on three topics, including clear listing attributes. As Vivian mentioned, we want to ensure accuracy of our products, their listings, and their attributes. I'll share more about how we're going about that. Changes we're making to move away from single item shipping costs to basket costs for customers. And finally, our best tips for merchants to succeed on the Wish platform. We absolutely must create an atmosphere of trust and loyalty to prevent churn and keep our customers coming back to Wish time and time again. Some of the existing initiatives we have in place include getting quality and as described products into customer hands, providing positive experiences with merchants, improving communications, ensuring authenticity of brands and goods, and finally, providing the opportunity for refunds and returns. In 2022, with quality in mind, we made the important decision to become an invitation-only platform, or closed marketplace. At this time, all new merchants must be vetted via a multi-step qualification process that considers several attributes, such as product categories, channel partnerships, and e-commerce performance history. Our decision to pivot to an invitation-only model came about for several reasons. To decrease poor quality competition for our high quality merchants, to increase overall trustworthiness, and to focus on our important initiatives such as platform transformation. This was just the first step we took in this transformation. Now, I'll talk about what we can do together to improve our buyer experience. Over the past several months, we have made important changes to our taxonomy system. Taxonomy refers to how we classify products on Wish. With the right taxonomy, your products are classified in a way that makes them relevant to customers who are searching for something on Wish. Here are just a few of the improvements that we started to make this year. We're enhancing our taxonomy to cover more categories and improve the collection of attribute data on our product listings. We're establishing new category management practices designed to focus on getting your product categorized correctly while supporting key verticals. And we're introducing a grading system for listing quality based on title, image, and other content and establishing image standards guidelines. The goal of this grading system is to help merchants understand how they can craft engaging, direct, and cleaner product listings. A lot of those initiatives may sound pretty technical, and yes, they are. However, I wanted to demonstrate that we're working tirelessly to improve the user experience related to how we work with merchants to present relevant, quality, and appealing product listings that customers can feel excited about. We want to create a rich shopping experience to help our customers gain access to great products. Moving forward, we're planning to use listing quality as a key element to rank our listings. And we will invest in letting merchants know where and how to improve. Here is some additional context. When products are listing on the Wish Marketplace, they compete with thousands of other listings that are visible to millions of buyers during any one session. We want to help your products stand out. Wish intends to partner with merchants to create high-quality listings that are both informative and attention-grabbing. A high-quality listing is a manifestation of the robust data foundation underpinning it. This data is sourced from merchants, but augmented and transformed by Wish to create compelling shopping experiences. In the future, we will enable merchants to contribute a lot more product data than they have been able to share previously. As one example, we're planning a revamped product taxonomy 
that will empower merchants to provide self-classification for their products. When we share guidelines for creating compelling listing content, we're planning to provide merchants with rich attribute data whenever we can. Finally, we will use new quality data to enable new experiences that will inspire our buyers. We will partner with our proprietary wish algorithm, as well as third-party technology, with merchant-provided data to constantly optimize the manner in which listings show up in front of our buyers, both on the Wish apps and externally on ads, affiliates, and other publishers. We realize that this is a continuous improvement process where we should constantly evaluate signals from the marketplace and react to create better listings. Wish will proactively share insights to support merchants in making their listings more performant with the goal of increasing the ROI from the platform. Shipping being charged per item is one of the biggest buyer pain points on Wish, resulting in higher shipping totals as users buy more. We want to fix that in 2023. In the early half of next year, we'll be rolling a new experience and features to address this issue. Our goal is to allow merchants and Wish to create incentives for users to build bigger baskets instead of adding to the friction that exists today. Those may include discounted shipping above certain thresholds, buy more, save more offers, calculated shipping, and more innovative features. Not only will this improve shopping experience for our customers, but we hope it will also lead to higher order values, higher conversion rates, retentions, and more benefits for merchants. Over the next few months, we will start sharing more details around how those new experiences will work and how merchants can participate. Until then, watch the space. Our ultimate goal is to help you succeed. To keep coming back to Wish, customers must have positive experiences. Wish is only as good as the merchants who sell on our platform. Last year, we launched Wish Standards, designed to help reward merchants who provide great experiences for customers. We are already seeing positive results as refund rates on Wish fell dramatically, 34%, from January to September. Our next Wish Standards program evolution aims to simplify and clarify what merchants need to do in order to improve the Wish Standards performance. For example, clear impact to Wish Standards level when merchants exceed or perform below threshold, better transparency of evaluation metrics, clear insights about how to improve operational performance, and increase accuracy and fairness of merchant performance evaluation. For example, by introducing category-specific evaluation criteria. Finally, increase the speed of assessment for new merchants to help them grow faster on the Wish platform. We will continue to evolve the Wish Standards dashboard to allow merchants proactively to monitor metrics and to be able to take actions ahead of the next evaluation cycle. As you're probably aware, a higher Wish Standards scores can lead to a lower commission rates on Wish. Also, Wish Standards can help decrease the competition for top merchants on the Wish platform. Merchants who fall short of Wish Standards expectations won't receive the same rewards and benefits as their higher performing counterparts. When you click on a Premier Merchant banner on the product page, you see a pop-up that explains how Premier Merchants provide consistently positive experiences for customers. Premier Merchants, those with Platinum or Gold status, are highlighted to customers. In the middle, you can see an example of this type of banner on a product page. When customers add an item from Premier Merchant to cart, Premier Merchants also get a shout out via pop-up notifications like the one you see on the right. We have heard your feedback. Infractions have been a pain point for merchants for some time, and we want to help. In 2022, we launched a revamped infraction summary page with the goal of providing better, cleaner insights for merchants related to how and why infractions have been issued. As you're probably aware, we have also removed monetary penalties for infractions issued. In 2023, we'll continue to remove infraction-related pain points for merchants. In the works, we have plans to streamline the user experience related to infractions, to improve clarity and to reduce frustration. We'll also create internal processes that are designed to reduce the infraction dispute response time, and finally, reduce the number of infraction types. 
I know this is a lot of information to take in, but don't worry. We have a number of resources to help you better understand those new features and tools and learn how to use them to your advantage. Our goal is to make you successful on Wish. The Wish Merchant blog features weekly posts in multiple languages on topics such as how to maximize your use of the Wish platform, holiday and seasonal insights, and information about software partners. On the blog, you can also find links to our YouTube channel featuring how-tos and other educational videos. The blog's Merchant Materials page provides access to product guides, one-pagers, and informative decks that will help you optimize your Wish account. Finally, follow Wish Merchants on LinkedIn to hear all the latest news, announcements, and exciting updates for merchants. I very much appreciate your attention today. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Sarah Liu, and I'm the Vice President of Merchant Operations at Wish. I'm very excited to share with you today some of the improvements and changes we've made to help with merchant operations on Wish. We've heard a lot of feedback from our global merchants that exposing and surfacing your products have been challenging, and we've developed new ways to help you do this better and reach more customers. I will focus on three main areas where we've made and will continue making significant improvements. I will first highlight our new merchandising entry points and event campaigns. This is a great place for merchants to get more involved and find new ways to increase your impressions. Next, I will briefly share some of our efforts around category browsing and what to look forward to when it comes to our category experience on Wish. Lastly, I will recap what we've achieved so far with our Wish Clips program and how merchants can become more engaged in this experience. Over the past year, we've been ramping up merchandising on Wish with many exciting initiatives already rolled out and more in the works. We've created a comprehensive calendar of thoughtfully curated merchandising campaigns designed to help promote your seasonal products. We started with a fresh approach to homepage banners with exciting, timely collections featured at the top of every user's homepage. And we've also rolled out banners on category pages such as fashion and a popular customer favorites view where buyers can browse some of Wish's most loved items. We continue to ramp and scale merchandising with many ambitious goals for the future. Merchandising efforts for the 2022 holiday season went out with a bang. Our Every Day is Black Friday campaign featured intriguing banner campaigns daily, both on the landing page and the Wish homepage. As part of our holiday season merchandising campaigns, we introduced a deal-centric experience so that our merchants could showcase their best discounts and our customers could get a great deal shopping on Wish. The feedback from both our customers and our merchants have been overwhelming, and we look forward to sharing some of the positive results in the near future. We will continue to iterate and improve this experience, and we welcome our merchants' participation and feedback. Our goal is for users to easily access merchandising collections in different locations throughout the Wish app and website. We call these locations for merchants to find products via merchandising entry points. Currently, our primary entry points are on the landing page and home page as well as the fashion category page. In 2023, we'll begin to work to add entry points in additional categories, as well as in additional strategic locations throughout the Wish app and website. On this slide, you can see a couple of examples of the types of entry points we'd like to build on category pages and within category filters and navigation. Here are a few additional goals. Please note that these designs aren't finalized, but we wanted to provide a sneak peek. You may have already seen these tabbed modules in action during our 2022 holiday season. We will continue to iterate and expand on these types of entry points in the future. These entry points in the future will likely include campaigns that can be scrolled through on the Wish homepage in tab form, collections embedded in the Wish product feed for customers. When customers click a collection tile, they'll be redirected to view a curated merchandising collection, a daily deal section on the homepage featuring top merchant discounts and deals and new arrivals. As we further optimize our merchandising experiences, we want to eventually create hyper-personalized merchandising campaigns. We want to carefully target users' specific interests, budgets, and tastes. Wish's algorithm already does a great job of personalizing the customer experience. Our goal is to apply that personalization to merchandising campaigns throughout the Wish app. When customers arrive at Wish, they'll see customized banners and campaigns based on their unique set of preferences. On this slide, you can see an example of what this might look like. Customer A on the left sees a banner catering to their interest in festival gear, while customer B on the right sees a banner targeted to products at low prices. Ultimately, this effort will also extend into the Wish product feed with personalized merchandising campaign placements. 
With all of these new merchandising entry points and campaigns, we wanted to make sure our merchants had an easy way of participating in our promotions. In 2022, we completely revitalized our merchant promotions platform, which enables merchants to promote their products on Wish. Merchants are able to use the promotions to participate in deals, flash sales, and merchandising events. Promoted products appear in the deal section on Wish.com and the Wish app and customers can access and interact with deals in multiple unique ways, with personalization strengthened over time. Two types of main discounts our merchants can offer are general discounts and flash sales. The discount tool offers a wide-ranging percentage discount on eligible products that can run for seven to 14 calendar days. It's great for seasonal sales on stagnant inventory. The flash sale tool offers a steeper percentage discount on eligible products that run for 12 hours. It's great for products that you'd like to discount for a limited duration. When you use the discount tool or the flash sale tool, your products will appear in the new customer facing deals hub on the homepage. I wanted to also introduce a brand new discount type of deal you're able to participate in on the merchant promotions platform. Events are brand new and we couldn't be more excited to share this feature with merchants. An event allows merchants to align their promotional campaigns with Wish's merchandising efforts. It's an amazing opportunity for merchants to take advantage of Wish's broader marketing and merchandising campaigns. Event promotions are displayed to customers in the Deals Hub and on the Wish app. Some event promotions may also be selected to be featured in exclusive banner campaigns on Wish. This is the first time in Wish's history that we've provided merchants with the opportunity to participate in our merchandising and marketing campaigns, which helps get your products in front of customers who are looking to make timely seasonal purchases. I wanted to share a few campaigns we will have in December of this year and in January of 2023. In December, we'll have a 2022 roundup of our favorite Wish finds, an after Christmas sale and Boxing Day sale, a New Year, New You reinvention event, and a sustainable lifestyle event. In January, we're planning Wish Electronics shows for the Electronics Junkie, home resolutions focus on home goods, get ready for Valentine's Day, and get ready for the big game. We strongly encourage merchants to participate in these upcoming events via the Merchant Promotions platform tools available to you. In 2023, we're going to focus on the categories where Wish excels, in home and life. These are also the categories that our customers purchase the most, with high share of GMV and customer retention. Our intention is to offer an unparalleled variety of quality and unique lifestyle products at affordable prices. Wish wants to be the first in mind when a customer thinks about what they need, from their home essentials to occasional event-driven needs. The top five categories that Vivian shared will continue to be our key categories, but we will focus in on the subcategories that cater best to inspirational driven browsing and bargain or value driven purchases. In these categories, we will seek to curate products that are fun and delight our customers, but also begin to build more inventory depth with high value for cost staples. To dive deeper on the categories that work well with home and life, I've shared some specific guidance here. In home, it can be products from home and garden to home improvement and tools. In fashion, it can be the more basic staples in women's and men's apparel, to fun jewelry and costumes for every life occasion. In beauty and health, it will range from a variety of cosmetics to skincare and fragrances. Lastly, in electronics, cell phone accessories, computer and office accessories, and consumer electronics work best within this range. We will continue to share more detailed insights throughout the year on category and country trends, so stay tuned for that in the coming months. Our first effort into creating cleaner navigation and having a more immersive browsing experience was through our new women's clothing category. To start, I wanted to share why this category was important for us. Global fashion is a major e-commerce trend. The e-commerce fashion industry's compound annual growth rate is expected to reach 14.2% between 2017 and 2025. The industry is expected to hit a $672.71 billion valuation by 2023. And we believe Wish is poised to take advantage of the demand with our fashion experience. This is a quick look into our redesigned women's clothing shopping experience. The elevated women's clothing landing page includes subcategory navigation and curated merchandising, higher quality in-app imagery to show products in their best light, and features that focus on driving conversion and customer purchase experience, such as size guides that help customers find the perfect fit, including details related to height, weight, and clothing size, and easier browsing to find and select all size and color options. These changes are all made with a more intuitive and engaging customer shopping experience in mind. All merchants have the ability to participate in this newly revamped experience, and we strongly encourage merchants to put their best foot forward in one of our largest categories. In addition to the changes we've made in the fashion experience, 
We're working towards making all categories easier to navigate. Wish now features category tabs, as well as new sorting options. While browsing Wish, you can now view product categories in addition to a customized feed. When you click into a category tab, you'll have the options to further sort or filter your results. Here you can see that if I click into dresses, I can further sort by style, viewing a detailed list of options from materials to occasions. These types of sorting options allow customers to narrow their focus in order to find a variety of products in categories of interest. All the changes we've made to category browsing from the revamped women's clothing experience to the new category tabs and sorting are part of our continued efforts in creating a more fun and engaging shopping experience. Many of the changes I've shared have been focused on how we can help customers better discover your products. But we also want to make sure that we're guiding you in providing products our customers are looking for. To do so, we will ramp up our efforts to educate and guide merchants on category and country trends they should be aware of. In 2022, we've been heavily focused on product category and subcategory trends, both category trends we see within Wish, as well as in the broader market and e-commerce industry. We've tracked and made note of many country and region specific differences in category preferences. For example, customers in Italy buy more motorcycle accessories on Wish than in other markets. In 2023, we will expand these insights to include providing price range guidance for merchants in global markets based on the trends we've observed. We're also planning to provide merchandising and promotional opportunities based on data related to customer behavior and trends and product listing opportunities to improve pre and post purchase performance and merchant performance and opportunities. Now that I've talked about all of our exciting efforts in merchandising and category browsing, I want to quickly recap the journey of our Wish Clips program. A year ago, we launched Wish Clips, a shoppable video feature. Since then, we've seen positive trends related to video shopping. Early data suggests that customer satisfaction may increase when a customer purchases a product via a Wish Clip. We continue to iterate on and invest in Wish Clips, which now features music, as you'll see in this brief video. One amazing aspect of video and e-commerce is that it's a universal language. Demonstrating the use of a product through video makes it easy to understand. Wish clips are now shown with a special tab on the app to users in countries around the world, from Argentina to Japan to Switzerland. To help merchants better track video performance, we launched the Video Management Hub. The Video Management Hub on the Merchant Dashboard has been designed for you to upload, manage, and monitor your videos in one centralized location. In the Video Management Hub, merchants are able to easily monitor how your Wish Clips are performing, either individually or across the board. Simply go to the Video Performance section of the Video Management Hub. We strongly encourage merchants to monitor and track your video performance regularly as you continue to create more content. These insights will help you understand what types of videos and content our customers are looking for. An exciting new tool we'd like merchants to utilize more is our Wish Clips leaderboard. The Wish Clips leaderboard shows top performing videos on Wish and associated statistics. Sort by category and watch the videos to help understand the type of content that's trending. The trending videos will help give you insight into what types of videos are the most engaging for our customers and hopefully give you inspiration for your next video creation. Thank you again for your time. We are confident that our merchandising and category navigation efforts will not only improve our customer shopping experience, but it will also give our merchants strength and tools to surface and expose your products. We aren't able to do this without our merchants, so we appreciate your participation and effort as we work together to improve Wish. Hello. My name is Michael Tan, and I'm the Director of Logistics for North America at Wish. I'm very pleased to speak with you today about how we're improving logistics systems. It's safe to say that we've all faced some challenging times over the past two years. With the global pandemic, ongoing geopolitical conflicts, and growing economic uncertainty all impacting our business operations, global logistics is no exception. Consumers still very much value the convenience of shopping online so the demand for logistics remains high. We're starting to see more capacity become available across both ocean and air freight, which is good news. Warehouses remain filled to the brain with inventory as suppliers stockpile goods to hedge against the future supply chain problems. For us, it's now more important than ever to ensure our logistical infrastructure is designed in a way that allows for us to adjust and adapt to changing climates. When we look at our global shipping speed, or time to door, we see big year-over-year -year improvements from 2021 to 2022. The global 90 percentile TTD has been reduced from 28 days to 23 days, while the global on-time rate has increased from 
80% a year ago to 92% in 2022. We're making all of those improvements while maintaining a quite modest global average shipping price increase. The price is pretty much on par with last year. Looking ahead to 2023, we're very excited that we have more key logistic initiatives to push our TDD for many top shipping corridors to under 15 days, 10 days, or even faster. This will help our user experience and encourage even more repeat purchases. Another way to ship goods to consumers is via our Wish Local Pickup program. The program is going from strength to strength as we introduce additional partnerships in our network. This year, we signed partnerships with PayPoint in the UK and Hubbed in Australia. And we're currently in talks with several partners in the US, Canada, and the EU. The expanded footprint of those local stores may provide endless opportunity for us to interact more closely with consumers. As we develop our new merchant managed return programs, we wanted to create a set of operating principles to guide our work. Our first priority was to empower trustworthy merchants. We wanted you to be able to select the return policy that was best for your business model while increasing your autonomy. Our second operating principle was to focus on a broader economic view, both that of merchants and Wish as a whole. We wanted merchants to save money and maximize value recovery during the return process. Finally, we wanted to consolidate returning experience to end users and build customer confidence in our new return and refund process. At a high level, our logistics team has a three-fold plan for key improvements in 2023. Continuous progress related to improving delivery speed and buyer experience enhancement. Geographic expansion and continuous development of merchant managed returns. And forward deployment unit inventory program, which allows Wish to help increase fulfillment speed and quality on behalf of merchants. I will share more about those next. While we are maintaining and growing our current merchant base and logistics operations, we also look for ways to expand our logistic infrastructure to more locations, where we can support our next phase of merchant growth globally. One of the key geolocations where a lot of merchants are concentrated in is Southeast Asia. It's a key manufacturing hub and produces goods for some of the largest Western brands in tech, garments, and sportswear. We will grow our logistic infrastructure in this region starting from our own shipping platform, which Post. We will also get ready to provide more white-label logistics services for North America, Europe, and Latin regions. In the first phase, we will provide merchants with a range of fulfillment options, and they will be able to pay and settle their billing with carriers directly. For example, after placing a logistics order, merchants will be able to print out shipping labels directly from our system and track the parcels through Wish Post dashboard. In the second phase, merchants will be able to top up their wallet in Wish Post, and Wish Post will take care of the billing with the carriers directly. In the third phase, merchants will no longer need to choose a service by themselves, Wish Post will be able to smartly recommend service levels so that merchants can fulfill and ship orders globally with selected carriers. One of the key logistic programs in 2023 is our forward deployment in China, Uni Inventory. We are planning improved standards for Uni Inventory, including 10-day delivery in major market, accurate delivery time prediction, seamless integration with Wish Express, and an improvement for fulfillment speed. We are also committed to stronger support for merchants enrolled in this program, including shipping price optimization, support flexible product and shipping discounts, enable improvements for higher logistic and wish standard ratings. And we also expect a higher conversion rate based on those improvements. We will include smart features such as the ability to automatically manage shipping regions, time to door, and shipping fees, support multiple accounts and omnichannel fulfillment, protection from overselling, sellable inventory automatic update, and the ability to retrieve slow-move inventory back to merchants at ease. To equip our merchants with more data insights for more sales, we are introducing more tools to optimize product selection and tools for sales prediction and automatic replenishment recommendation. Thank you very much. I hope today's presentation has helped provide valuable insight into merchant logistics experience on Wish.
Thank you for joining us on our journey through the world of WISH. As you can see, there's a lot of great work underway at WISH, and we are delighted we can share some of our progress with you. The good news is we are already seeing positive results from our efforts. We are seeing positive improvements in consumer NPS, significant reduction in customer refund rates as a result of WISH standards, a double-digit year-over-year improvement in our TTD, and we have further enhancement on the way. Let's not forget that it's the journey through the world of WISH that makes us unique. It's often what brings our users in and what keeps them coming back. That and our great prices. Our app is built around a discovery shopping experience with a fee that mirrors a social media experience. This blurring of the lines between e-commerce and social media will be critical to our success for years to come. Now I know the question on everyone's lips is with all this great progress, where do we go next? What will we focus on next year and over the coming years? Let me share some thoughts with you. First off, I want to reiterate how much we believe in our mission of bargains made fun, discovery made easy. We want to be known for offering affordable products, great deals, and value to our consumers. We also want to be known for providing a discovery experience that inspires our consumers through every visit. On top of that, we want to be there to support our customers with their home and life essentials. Our focus in the short term is on building a sustainable business by establishing and reinforcing our key differentiators. Discovery, extensive personalization, value, brass of inventory, all underpinned by a world-class global logistic infrastructure. We will compete in these areas by being laser focused on our target audience in our core markets and within specific categories. As you heard earlier in the presentation, a large part of our future vision is dependent on us working closely with you, our merchants. With your help, we'll be able to, one, improve our product understanding through structured data and item taxonomy. Two, focus on improving the quality of the products sold by our merchants. Three, improve the quality of the listing, including the titles, descriptions, images. And four, deliver enhanced merchandising opportunities. Now I'd like to close by saying a huge heartfelt thank you from myself and everyone here at WISH. We truly value each and every one of you and appreciate your patience and the trust during what has been a whirlwind of a year for WISH. We are excited to be partnering with you on our journey to build a stronger WISH that will drive positive experience for our merchants and our users. I invite all of you to join me as we push forward with the transformation of this company. <laughs>